Well, more Republicans may be pulling away from supporting President Donald Trump's health care plan, including Illinois Congressman Peter Roskam. One factor, the Congressional Budget Office's projection that 24 million people would lose coverage. But experts say Cook County and its taxpayers could be hit especially hard. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff explains in this original report. I want you to, to make decisions that's good for you. 61-year-old Earl Williams Sr. didn't get his diabetes diagnosis until he signed up for county care. He didn't have health insurance at all until Medicaid expansion under the Affordable Care Act made it possible. So now I'm doing preventive care instead of emergency care. Officials say Williams and almost a half a million other Cook County residents have gotten insured under expanded Medicaid. With that came federal dollars. But President Donald Trump's plan would end expansion in 2020 and change the funding. We have some tremendous challenges if the Affordable Care Act goes away in terms of how we're going to manage health care. Both providing it and the expense. It will be a tremendous fiscal challenge. It's $300 million at the very least that we're talking about. That's quite a hit. Possibly to Cook County taxpayers. Experts also fear the numbers of uninsured would skyrocket because the new plan requires Medicaid recipients to redetermine or re-register twice a year instead of once. A cumbersome process that may then force them to seek care in the more expensive ER. A higher percentage of drop off and of course that, that eventually means a higher cost. Care. Illinois Policy Institute's president sees the GOP plan differently. This isn't the catastrophe that so many people are portraying it to be. It largely keeps the Medicaid expansion intact. In fact, Christina Rasmussen thinks the GOP plan doesn't go far enough in terms of reform. And despite its projections about coverage losses, the Congressional Budget Office did predict the GOP bill would cut the deficit by $337 billion in 10 years. Robin Erica, definitely two sides to this, but the debate growing. Oh, it will. It won't stop. Right? Thanks.